Hey guys, we're Time6, we're back watching High Magic Monthly of Season 4, Episode 6, Happily Ever After. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and remember to subscribe for future uploads. You can also check out our Patreon page, where you can get the full uncut reactions up to 6 episodes ahead. Link is going to be down below. Help support the channel by checking that out, and let's get started right away. My wedding, at least my first wedding, didn't go so well. I was so sure Stella was the one. And when she left me, I, I was so devastated. But you guys got me through it. Now the painful part's over. I've come out the other side a little bit stronger. How long has it been? You know, I, I hardly even think about her anymore. That's what time does, I guess. What's happening? Ted, the wedding was yesterday. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, 24 hours. God. I know. I was, by all appearances, fine. Hey, buddy. Wanna hang out? Guys, I'm fine. Hey, Doesn't mean you can't eat a pizza. Hey, kiddo. <laughs> Barney, I'm fine. What? It's not necessary. And I did not realize you'd be home. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's Please, not for to you. The stairwell. To the stairwell. <laughs> Go to the roof. Do you remember when Lily left me? You remember how I held in my feelings? <laughs> how I held in it? <laughs> 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 well, let's eat. How about Flat Michaels? Mm, nah, it's 44th and Lex. Can't do it. Why not? It's too close to Stella's gym. Might run into uh -oh. anywhere else. Oh, yeah. No. Okay, um, how about Hurley's? Why is her gym in New York if she's in New Jersey? Office and her dry cleaners. <laughs> what you got there, Ted? A little reference map oh, I made no. for myself. This is not healthy. A New York guide to places you might run into Stella Zinman. All I have to do is never see Stella again, and I'll live a long, happy life. Now, who wants to get something to eat? Oh, somebody just told me about a tapas place that's in the White Zone. Great, let's go there. Nice. The White Zone. <laughs> that sounds wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. I just realized. I didn't see anything. Oh, ah. sir! Run out! Well, follow my lead. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. Is he serious? I am not getting under this table. No. I'd maybe get under that table. <laughs> this guy. Go yell at her. Ted, you may be from Ohio, but you live in New York now. We don't push down our feelings yeah, we yell. in New York. We take our feelings and shove them in somebody else's house. <laughs> there is not a person on earth I would hide under a table from. Oh, really? Yeah. Not a single person. Not even Gasser? Michael Sasser. He's a guy I went to high school with. Well, Michael sat next to me in freshman biology. He had been a bit of a loser all through middle school, but the summer before ninth grade, he grew 12 inches and joined the baseball team. He was right on the precipice of becoming one of the cool kids. Until one day... Oh. Lily. I only had one choice. Blame it on him. Oh God, Sasser, fart much? <laughs> Uh -oh. No, it wasn't me, it was her. Oh, she ruined As him. If Sasser, oh. well, like, Gasser. He was gonna bloom. Gasser. Gas. 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 He was gonna Gasser. Gasser. Bro, he was gonna peak. Gasser. I want to peak. <laughs> he was gonna peak. <laughs> yeah. This guy said, he I'm on the baseball so team, I'm cool. He had to change schools. Oh. Hey, are you guys okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the waiter, isn't it? Well, here's your almonds. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> you guys have any specials tonight? Oh, yeah, this is good. So who's Becca DeLucci? Becca is just this girl who lives upstate. I used to visit her now and again. Mm hmm Where exactly upstate, Barney? Oh. Bedford Hills Federal Penitentiary. <gasps> and yes, the visits were of a conjugal nature. Oh. How? Which of you married? No way, really? She was only allowed by law to call me once a week. <laughs> If she ever got clingy, the armed guards stopped her. Ah, that's fucking blessed. For dinner. I'm your rock. I'm the, oh my god, uh -oh. hello, strange. Hi. Oh, hell no. Getting. Oh! Barney. Fuck. <laughs> Bro, Bar Barney's a menace here. What the fuck? Nah, he's gonna. Where's the fucking guard? Now I get letters from Becca, and she's all, I'm coming to get you the day I get out of here. Oh? I'm gonna hang your eyes from my rear view <gasps> mirror. Women, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Women. Ted, we all think that you need to... Wait, where's Barney? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's a thumbnail. We all 
Yo, Buddy's gonna be three. The last person I wanted to see walk through that door wouldn't say a damn word. Really? Who's that? My father. Oh. That other table is off the hook. <laughs> the other table. It goes back to the day I was born. You give me my son now. Oh, oh, you wanted a son? Oh no. Yeah, the cigar. Oh no. Was he Italian? <laughs> yeah, what? Didn't what? change his plan. My full legal name is Robin Charles Shabatsky Jr. <gasps> oh no. When I was eight, he took me hunting for the first time. I don't want to shoot a deer. Nonsense, RJ. Shooting deer is the noblest of pursuits. But they're cute. Now shoot that deer. You said the same thing about our rabbits. Remember how delicious they were? <laughs> this guy's fucked. Over the years, my body developed. I mean, the real Canadians. <laughs> My Pee Wee hockey team had just won the Squamish Invitational and everyone came back <laughs> to my house to Oh, celebrate. that's her I You made yourselves splendidly out there on the ice. I can't believe you missed that last empty net of your hoser. You're the hoser. hoser. No, you're the hoser. No, what? Is... Oh. oh, no. Yeah, that no. Obviously, obviously. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> ah. This guy dropped it. <laughs> your teammates. Hockey players. Teammates don't kiss. Yo, this guy's fucked. Don't kiss! Hockey players don't kiss. Oh my god. I have no son. <laughs> 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 Took you 14 years! You just stupid, bro. <laughs> oh my god. All of my friends were haunted. But there was a difference between oh my god. and theirs. Oh, it wasn't too late oh, for okay. me. Imagery. He's gonna talk to her? Oh, she, re she recognizes his butt? <laughs> She's gone. I'm going after her. Okay, don't do that. I'm gonna say, Stella. I'm sorry things didn't work out. Yeah, right. Oh, that yes. is horrible. We're gonna talk about this like adults. She can tell me her side, and I'm gonna listen. Oh. Probably should have done a little more of that before. Oh, Driver, no. can you run us to the nearest lamppost? Not you, Ted. I mean, clearly that. Stella was... hated Star Wars. She liked. <laughs> oh, it. this my part. You know it to be true. Yeah. The Star Wars is what did it. Yeah, yeah. Where's she going? Her cab just missed the turn to the Lincoln Tunnel. Why would anybody buy takeout food and bring it all the way back to New Jersey anyway? <laughs> your office. No. The waiter <coughs> asked her, and we need utensils. And then she said, no, I'm just going straight home. If she's going oh, home, she moved for someone home? else, but not for Ted? Oh, my God. Oh! Tony lives downtown. Ah! Home is Tony's apartment. She was going to make me yep. move to New Jersey. And then she moves into oh, the Oh, he's city mad now. Tony? Because that's daddy, bitch. Son of a bitch. And <laughs> yeah. It's New Jersey, so that makes him mad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see what he says. Call her, dude. You picked the wrong guy. Oh. You Have you learned nothing in the last eight years? Oof. You're just going to regret this. You He's scolding that. her like a you father. You're going to regret this. And now there is nothing you can do about it because it's too late. Good. Walk away. Hey! There we go. There you go. He didn't simp. That's what I'm gonna say. Oh. Oh, okay. oh, oh my god. Yeah, that's good. Go say that. He's not gonna say that. Oh, you cannot let it go. Me first. Me first. It all just went away. Oh. Because family. Okay, no. Yeah, more. let it go. Oh, yeah, like, it. In that moment, I wasn't angry anymore. Vin Diesel would be proud. Kids, you may think your only choices are to swallow your anger or throw it in someone's face. But there's a third option. You can I'm just look right here on the street. Okay. And only when you do that is it really gone and you can move forward. Stand. And that, kids, was the perfect ending to a perfect love story. I want to call it, it a perfect love mine. story. Oh, okay. Mine was still out there waiting for me. Hmm. Okay. That wasn't bad. Oh, like that was a funny episode, bro. Yeah, that was great. Was that like directed by somebody else, bro? Like <laughs> that was fucking school. hilarious. Like it was, right? <laughs> like awfully like different, you know? Alright guys, thanks for watching the reaction portion of the video. Make sure to stay tuned for <clears> the discussion. <throat> if there's any part of the episode that we weren't able to keep in the YouTube edit, click the link down below for the full uncut reaction. And let's discuss now. This was called Happily Ever After. Bro, this was this is so a, funny. Bro, I feel like a new person directed it. Like, <laughs> or, like or written, at least. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, it is like 
it's something you expect for High Metro Mother because the best episodes of the show, I think, are when something serious happens. No, when the group is together mm. in like a weird scenario, right? So like in this episode, the group was under a table. Hey. For most of the episode. Yeah. And then you have some flashbacks to tell some stories. Yeah. That's what makes the show good, I think. Favorite moment. Hmm. I'm gonna say Barney. When he was in that other table? The table, his prison story, his jokes. Bro, Barney was all he point. was just firing now. <laughs> this guy yeah. went out of the table as I was. Like how's that? Bro, who wrote that shit? <laughs> right? It's hilarious. Like the girls didn't even care. They're just, just Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, the waiter there was yeah. cool. Yeah, he was. Even though he, he barely said anything. Yeah. He was funny. And, I mean, overall, the whole story, I, I liked it. I, I also liked that Ted walked away. Mm -hmm. That was good. Yeah. Like, wh what the fuck are you doing? Like, he was going to go yell at her in front of her family. Even yeah. though she she yeah. did you wrong. Like, bro, that's, that's a low. At you know? that point, it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. So I liked that he, he let it go. Yeah. Least favorite, do I have one? I don't think so. Everything was on point. Yeah. Yeah, my favorite scene just had to be uh when um Robin's dad's like, Oh my god, I don't have a son. <laughs> 14 years yeah. later, you know? That's hilarious. And then yeah, also hilarious. Barney just going under the table. Like this guy was silly for the whole episode, bro. He was just fucking jokes. You know? And yeah, no least favorite. I, I hope they, they like from now on they just make every episode hilarious like this. Like this is a top tier episode, yo. Yeah, it is. Rewatchable as fuck. <laughs> oh for sure. Yeah. It was a funny episode, but I would say my favorite was the ending. You know, I don't like how she did it, how she left him. Yeah. But I do like why she left him. I think the reasoning, because like family. out of any reason why someone breaks up with someone, this is probably the best one. Yeah. Yeah, family like takes family, priority. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and I like that he walked away, of course. Like, mm. that was, like I, I, I know, like, that feeling where... You just see someone and you're like, there's no point. Fuck there's it. no yeah. point. Fuck it. There's, yeah. All the anger goes like, away. What am like, I going to gain yeah, from yelling? Yeah, like, what's the point? Yeah. yeah. The thing is, like, uh, it's kind of his fault, too, you know? Like, as of he, he brought, oh, of course. Yeah. yeah, so he brought the yeah. husband there. It's like, bro, you can't yeah, yeah. blame her for this, you know? Or no, you can't blame her. But yeah. she, she still did the walking out. She did. But... And she was still in this relationship what? when things were unresolved. You can't blame her. Yeah, yeah, you could. But... but I think, I don't know what the fans think of Stella, but... I don't hate her at all. No. She chose her daughter's uh, stability over her own. Yeah. Right? Because the father's in the life. Mm -hmm. Or maybe like her own's also in there. But mm -hmm. No, for I sure. Think, yeah, I respect it actually. Yeah. I think just maybe... that in general, mm -hmm. if things are not going well and you don't like how, how things are playing out, but the end result, you're okay with the end result, it doesn't matter at that point mm. like how he, she got to that because let's say he didn't bring tony to the wedding and they did go with the marriage and, the and then they get divorced it would have ruined his life yeah i feel but, like it would have happened regardless yeah exactly so this fuck it he just triggered it earlier exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. things happen dude i don't know yeah. Yeah. The for thing, a reason dude <laughs> okay. you know like it, it, i she, think it's better this yeah. way like i he didn't have a like a divorce on his file, yeah. you know. Maybe she like still courts. she still likes him, but for the sake of her daughter, she had to make that tough choice, okay. you know. And it's respectful. No, I'm right? sure she liked him, uh, Todd. That Todd. Todd? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is Todd? <laughs> like, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure she liked Ted at like some level, right? Yeah. But I think the real memories and like the foundation yeah. of who she is is with <clears throat> the husband. Yeah. And now that the husband was ready to settle down, the thing is, it doesn't like, help that Tony's a goof. I think that's part of it. I think he was a goof, but he's <clears> matured <throat> now because the whole story was that he wasn't ready to settle down. Yeah. Right. So now he okay. Not that, that not that he deserves her now, but yeah. if he is and she's about it, then whatever. Yeah. yeah. You know. It would have been better. Yeah. Okay, this would have been sick. If let's say earlier in like previous episodes. They built up this fuck Tony guy as like a goofball, immature mm -hmm. as fuck. Mm -hmm. But then when Ted goes and sees him, he's like a fucking black belt in jujitsu. And now he got his shit Super together. Super disciplined. Takes him to the wedding. Stella sees that. Mm -hmm. And she's like, fuck it's like, Oh, he's a new man. <laughs> exactly. That would have made more sense. <laughs> yeah. a black belt. Well, whatever. Yeah, that would be better. But for a sitcom, I think it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Of course. It's funnier. Yeah. Like even though they do like continuing stories. 
Mm-hmm. That'd be a little too much, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fine. But let's talk about the episode, though. We have a lot of backstories. <laughs> let's, start, <laughs> let's start with Lily's, right? The gasser. The gasser. gasser. That cracked me the fuck up. Because imagine you're like this dweeb, right? Yeah, yeah. All in middle school. Yeah. You're going through your growth spurt. You're finally <laughs> peaking. And then she fucking Slams snuffs you. it out. Yeah. She destroyed him. You know what's funny about that part? When he's like, I'm cool. I'm on the baseball yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's exactly what she was saying, right? That like he was peaking because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, my God. He grew 12 minutes. I guess in her, that school, baseball was a big a thing. Lot. I think in our school, it was basketball, right? Yeah, basketball yeah. Was, a, was a big thing, so. Yeah. yeah. So... That, that's just funny. I wonder if Gasser comes back later in another yeah. episode. Yeah. yeah. I kind of want to do like a Lily episode. Yeah, I want to see that get resolved or like go somewhere. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then we have Barney's. That was something. Oh, the inmate. Oh, my God. <laughs> this guy. Bro, this guy couldn't wait like <clears throat> a minute. Just end it with the girl, then go to the other one. Yeah. Yo, oh, Barney's has definitely has some kind of issue, eh? Like with a. Uh... Impulsivity, impulsivity. Impulsivity. Is that even a word? Impulsivity. <laughs> In, I think there's no. T- impulsive. Being impulsive. Impulsivity. Yeah, right? Impulsivity. Yeah. 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 No t- and and women, you know. The women. Yeah. I think, bro. He also just lacks basic like. Uh, Mannerisms. <laughs> empathy. Is that the word? Oh yeah, empathy. Yeah. Yeah, he can't. It's like, bro. Even if you want to get the girl. <sighs> At least be a gentleman about it. Yeah. You know, in ep- these situations where um, the guy is playing two women mm-hmm. and then the woman starts attacking the other woman, mm-hmm. in every scenario, I'm like, this is so weird. Why are you attacking the other woman? Well, but I... in this one, she can't attack Barney. Yeah. <laughs> it's only her. So mm-hmm. <laughs> it makes sense. No, I feel the same way when it's like two guys and like the girl's cheating. Mm. Like, why are you attacking the guy, right? Exactly. Like, what the? Not fuck? that you should attack the girl, but yeah, yeah. like, I'm just saying. The guy, like, bro. guy, the guy should yeah. be getting yeah, attacked. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Like, what are you gonna achieve by fighting the guy? Yeah, you know. What if they don't know that they're dating someone? They're playing. Yeah, they're yeah. getting played. Play I hate that, bro. It's yeah, like, bro, annoying, the yeah. girl is the one that's cheating on you. The guy has no idea, but you're wanting to fight the guy. Yeah. It's a big scenario that if happens. The guy knows. Like, like, I could understand, but I still wouldn't say it's okay. Like, don't fight the guy. And yeah. that's not my yeah. first thought. Yeah. Is that guy knows? Exactly. Maybe I. Oh, but even if he does know, like, yeah, he's being shitty yeah. by pursuing it. Yeah. But I still, yeah. Who's letting, who's letting him in? It's, the, it's, it's your girl, you know? So it's like, yeah. yeah. Anyways, that was tangent. That was just... I was about the funniest backstory. Not, not just funniest, but also the deepest. Because this actually shapes Robin's character, right? Because I don't know if you remember like previous episodes when she's uh, bonding with Barney. She was like sitting on a leather chair, drinking the scotch, doing the cigars. Like she has those mannerisms, mm. like the masculine ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we can see where it comes from. It's from her dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So up until 14 years of age, <laughs> That's she hard. was treated as a yeah. as a boy. As a boy. He's like, I don't have a son. <laughs> what? Uh, I do oh, wonder God. if the father comes back. Because might... this is way too deep to just let it go. It's exactly. pretty deep, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What was fucking Marshall's backstory? Did we kill him? He didn't have one. Oh. Well, we know that he was a virgin until Lily, right? Yeah. So he wouldn't really have that kind of... Yeah, he maybe his one. brothers, but yeah, something was because he was traumatized. His dad is brother. weird too. No, the dad was cool. Was, his uh, whole family's weird. It was the brothers that oh, he was traumatized. Oh, was the brothers? Okay. Yeah. Remember when he got the car from them? Right, right, right. Oh yeah, they're like bullying. He spilled him. The, the hot coffee on them, mm-hmm. on him. <coughs> but yeah, so let's talk about the end scene. Actually, no, we talked about that, right? We did. When she, when he let it go. Yeah. Yeah, that was the best option. It was. So yeah, that's it. Yep. All right, thanks for watching our reaction for How Much Mother. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below your thoughts. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace.